call to order the committee of the whole meeting for Monday, January the 10th, 2022. Madam Clerk, will you please call the roll? McAfee? Here. Strabel? Here. Brown? Here. Gray? Here. Elliot? Here. Keener? Here. Campbell? Here. Seven present, no absent. Uh, number three, audit of accounts. I need a motion to pay the bills. I make the motion to pay the bills. This is Auto Woman Brown. Nate Keener, second. <laughs> Are there any questions? Madam Clerk, please call the roll. McAfee? Aye. Strabel? Aye. Brown? Aye. Gray? Aye. Please enter the conference PIN number. Hey. Hello. Hello. Is everybody think, back on? I think he kicked this off. Hello. Yeah, okay. I uh, Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. I <laughs> I was I accidentally hit the, the hang up button instead of a mute button. Uh, oh, my, okay. My bad. My oh. bad. I'm like, oh my god. I'm even touching my phone. My bad. <laughs> Oh, you know, I was freaking out. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> I was too. I, I'm sorry. Right. Man, I was like, get this hung up on me. <laughs> this is Carolyn. Like, I'm like, so, so good. Then all of a sudden. Oh, my God. All right. Okay. I got kicked off. Hello. Hello. We're back on. Okay. okay. Um, I'm down to Elliot. Hi. For the bills. <laughs> Tina. Hi. Campbell? Aye. Aye. Uh, uh, aye. Name? No. <laughs> no accent. <laughs> okay. Number four, laid over resolution to consider amending Title I, Chapter 11, Section 17, Administration of the City of Alton, Illinois, Code of Ordinance relating to the residency of the City of Alton employees. I need a motion. I make a motion to approve. Campbell. Do we need a second. I second. Is there any okay. questions? Uh, yeah. So I, I just want to make a comment. The uh, so I had talked to Tanya today, and I know uh, what I mean. However, this plays out is fine. The, but uh, I think part there was uh, some confusion that uh uh it was too ambiguous that it actually uh you know included uh, uh like all employees but there's a there's a line item in there obviously stating that uh the unions would supersede whatever this is the union agreement is that is that correct Tanya are you yes. there Yes, actually, the the language in the in the residency ordinance is the exact same language that's in your current ordinance code. The only change is that says ten miles of. So every other word is how you have it right now. It's just instead of saying lawful residents within the corporate limits of the city of Alton, it says lawful residents within ten miles of the corporate limits. And so there is a protect, you know, those that are in a collective bargaining unit or a classified civil service system of the city is excluded from this residency requirement. Okay. Other than that, that was my only comment, Carolyn. So um, I'd like to reverse um, roll call. Okay. For approval. 
<laughs> yeah. for, I guess for approval, I guess not, I guess you're not going to lay it over, Brian? Well, I mean, I just assume, I don't think, I mean, I'm not going to, I'm making an assumption it's not going to pass, but uh, okay. I mean, it, whatever you guys want to do, it, it doesn't matter to me. Okay. I want to go with the roll I, I, I think, call. I'm sorry, say that again? I, I think we need this, uh, we need this, this thing, but I don't know that we need to rush in until we get the, the wording changed to where I agree with all employees is, is that that's not acceptable because that would include all the union and everybody else. It, it and, actually uh, it excludes uh, the union. It ex yeah. It doesn't include all employees. So, this is Alderman Strabo. Oh. I'd like to just uh, I'd just like to be transparent so everyone knows where I stand on this. Um, I completely understand the stress and frustration with the departments not being able to fill. Um, their employment and to do their job successfully. But with our dwindling population, um, I cannot support a resolution that that is going to encourage um, people not to live in Alton. That, that'll be a reduction in our tax base, which is a reduction in our revenue. It's just something I cannot, I cannot agree with. Any more questions? Yes. Uh, what did you mean by what? What did you mean by reverse the roll call? They just start. So it, with it, would, it, it would. It would. It would start with me. Yeah. So it, and it would end with Carolyn. What did I, I had some uh, comments a moment ago about? Uh, the 10 mile thing, and I didn't quite understand what Tanya said. Uh, what, what did, what we, what would they, did we do with the 10 mile radius, Tanya? That's all we added. So the only thing that changed from the current ordinance is that we added within 10 miles of the city of the corporate limits versus it just saying within the corporate limits. So the, there was only three were, you know, the, the number 10 and two words were added to your or, your current ordinance. That's it. Um, and so that's, I mean, and, and it does exclude your collective bargaining units. Okay. So now, now what, what we have now is that it will be uh, with a 10 mile radius included in this, in this uh, thing, if it's passed uh, as we did. And then we eliminated the old, employee thing from from the beginning well it, it the all employees is in there except it's excluded in the bottom if you read probably about four lines from the bottom it says unless the subject individual is protected as a member of a collective bargaining unit okay gotcha well I, anybody else you know, I, I, I think we need to do something with it. We can't keep dragging it on. So this may well, be a good thing. Roll call, Charlie. We're going to do roll call. Carol, yeah. Carolyn, are we doing reverse roll call? Yes, let's do a reverse roll okay. call. Okay. Is that something we vote on or we just say we're going to do it? No, it's a request for me. I'm allowed to do that. Yeah. Anybody is, if they ask the alderman, can all do that. But go ahead. Right. What uh, I have one last question before we vote. Uh, what if, in a rare occasion like we had here just a short time ago, with the uh, with, with the uh, the unit that we tried to fill and we couldn't find anybody that would take it if they lived within the city of Alton? Uh, do you think this 10 mile radius is satisfactory to solve that problem? And if it's not, what do we do if we have a, a unit that we can't do without, for example, uh, the IT department and, and some of the other departments that we can't just go uh, unmanned? Don't you think we need something in here to let it fall back on the council that we could the council could authorize a temporary 
uh, uh, situation where we could hire somebody if, if that was the only choice we had of getting ourselves out of a pinch? Are we still there? Yes, we're still. Charlie, that's a, that, you know what? We haven't thought about that. I don't think anybody has. Um, I don't I don't know if we've ever done it before, but I do know that at one time there was somebody who was temporarily um, in a position that was appointed and and because they, they were not living in the city limit, and they got a specific amount of time to get something done until we found someone. I do know that mm-hmm. has happened, and it did. And the mayor made that uh, at the time made that um, proposal, and I was an alderman. But uh, you all, uh, the aldermen that were on the board, they did say okay for the time being. So I don't know if that's something that has to be in writing, or is that something? And Tanya, maybe you can answer that. Is that something that that can just be uh, something that's just done if we agree? Well, the well, you know, if, oh, go ahead. If if it's not in this, if it's not in this resolution as we pass it here, why uh, it it wouldn't be valid. You need to say that we have something like that in fact uh, to go by, so that we know how to handle ourselves. Because there were big arguments at the time that you did it uh, that we really didn't have the authority to to make that. Uh, re- exception, and I'd like to see. I'm a, just saying that, 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 for, that I don't, that, I don't know the, 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 the real truth, Charlie. I don't. I'm just saying I'm putting it out there to say I don't know is that how it works or not. So. I mean, I think it depends. Your ordinance here has you know allows an individual within 90 days. Um, so there there's a grace period for for moving, um, and. You might, you know, if it's an appointed position, so, for example, um, a department head, you can do interim and you can, you know, work around sometimes the the residency on them versus this, you know, I feel like appointed positions um, have a little bit different uh, guidelines in the statute versus uh, this specific residency for other employees. Well, I just I just wanted it something a, a little more legal than to say that if this circumstance happened, why we could just make that 90-day uh, exemption without really good cause or a vote of the council to authorize it. And if you don't get the vote of council to authorize it in there, it'll be done without the authorization, and we'll be back to having nothing. Hi, uh, this is Alderman Shrivel. I do have one last question. I guess I have this question for Director Scoggins. Um, you know, 60% of our, our property taxes that our citizens pay goes directly to our educational institutions. Have we ever tried to tap that market? Not necessarily. Well, of course, um, the graduates we would be after. But have we ever thought of, like, an intern program? And not necessarily on the secondary level, even high school. I know that – I don't know what Alton High has, but I know Marquette has a STEM program. And I'm wondering, is that is this is this too far off, or is this something that could actually possibly be done? Um, no, I mean I think that's something that can be done. And right now, I just feel like, um, depending on what position we're filling, we're having difficulties because all of our surrounding communities that recruit don't have the residency requirement. Yeah, it's also a nationwide problem. I and mean, this is not a city of Alton. I was yeah. just wondering if, if, if this might be something we could pursue. Well, uh, that's a good I, I idea. If we, if, if, we, if we pass this as we've decided up to this moment, I suppose that uh, once we get it in and take a, a, an opportunity to talk to each other about it instead of just uh, <clears throat> doing it helter skelter, why, uh, I. I I think we can probably uh, put in a, a, a write, uh, write another resolution to amend this thing to include what we need later. Because I would like to see some change. The way it is is, is uh, 
you know, it, 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 it isolates all in a way that we can't help ourselves with on on instances like we've just had in the recent past. Mm-hmm. If we want to pass it as as we come to this point, why well, well, I don't have an objection to that, and we can take a look at it if we can get the right people together to talk to each other for a change. Or maybe we can work out something that'll patch the thing that would be the problem. Do you want to lay it over, Charlie? No. Well, that would be the easiest way. <clears throat> we're going to make it complicated in what we're doing. And if we laid it over until we can get somebody that uh, <clears throat> that really is concerned about it, uh, the seventh ward alderman just put it very succinctly that uh, it, it it doesn't work the way it should, the way it is now, and I fully agree to that. And uh, rather than than pass it just to get it off the agenda, I'd like to see some people meet. Uh, you know, it, it wasn't out of the question to meet with the mayor uh, two at a time, like the regs call for what we do and discuss what we think is good ideas and who knows there may be a a, a solution in there that talking uh, two at a time uh would would be uh, a thing where we could get something that would really work better and uh i, I don't think it would hurt a thing uh, to lay it over again because we've been we've been at this this point for for several years and haven't done anything about it so uh, I, I wouldn't mind uh, laying it over at all to to be able to get some conversation between uh, the mayor's office and and the older people on the on the council that that want to genuinely get this thing in a workable situation. So uh, that that's where I stand. If if we if we think that laying it over would be the most sensible way to get some conversation going that really means something, I'd be willing to lay it over. And if if there's enough agreement to get a second on it, I'll make a motion to lay it over until we do that. Are you making a motion second. to lay it over, Charlie? Second. Second. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. Cheryl, you'll have to do a roll call because it's the second time being laid over. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, did somebody, yes, the, did somebody the second second layover that? requires a roll call. Right. So who uh who seconded that layover? Brian Campbell. Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> who, I'm sorry, who? Campbell. Brian Campbell. Okay. Do do we need to withdraw? This is Jarvis. I just want to say one thing that I think I've said this before, but my my biggest concern is that with the COVID cases rising, if I was to get COVID again, there would be no IT department, depending on how bad my symptoms were. So I understand. I want everybody to to be transparent and, and, and make sure we make the right decision. But I've been by myself for three months already, and I've been working 12-hour days, and I'm really burned out. Like, I'm, I'm really tired. Like, I, I don't I, – I just need somebody to help me. And we can't find anybody. Nobody wants to move to Alton because they already have homes in okay. other municipalities. Uh, okay, hey, Jarvis. I, I understand, but unless you know, we can't really have anyone talking or making comments unless asked a question. Yeah. Sorry. So I'll ask the question. I would like for Jarvis to say what he has to say because I am not, and I'm. You all know I'm 100 percent about being inside the city, but. He is right. He is true and correct. Listen, if he gets sick again, there is no IT here for the city of Alton. We're all concerned about every little thing, and I understand what Charlie was saying. I understand what everybody said. I understand everybody's viewpoint. But if you don't do something real fast, it's going to happen, and then when there's no IT, you're going to be looking for any and everybody, anybody to come in here and take care of our IT department. The young man is tired. 12 hours a day for three months is not normal for the city of Alton. It just is not. Unless you're a police officer and you get days off. He gets Monday and Tuesday and then he's on call because he's the only person. Consider it. 
if we can do something right now, and then we can still have meetings two at a time with the mayor and other people to come up with some ideas to make this uh, ordinance fit us that will help us some kind of way. Please consider that before you vote. So this is, sure, this is all thank you for that insight. This is Alderman Strabel. Three months ago, I said I was more than willing to accept an individual job to be exempt from living in the city. I'm not sure why I have a resolution in front of me that exempts all of the employees. I understand Jarvis' situation. I understood it three months ago, and I was willing to make a compromise, and I was told no. Hmm. Well, I, I, I certainly uh, I certainly agree with what was just said. Uh, we've got people working here now that uh, are, are working uh, uh, under the circumstances that this thing makes very uh, difficult. And my statement of a moment ago that, that said that uh, I would be willing to make a motion to to lay it over until we talk if the majority of this council, and that's what council is all about. That's the definition of the word. We have to have council among us to try and solve the problem. And if you want to pass this to relieve uh, a, a situation that we've got on hand right now, <clears throat> particularly in the IT department, where we can't really search for somebody, let pass it with the understanding that if we can get together later uh, and there are some flaws in it, uh, we can get together and make amendments to the thing like we've done a thousand ordinances in the past 25 years I've been here. And uh, if that's what the, the majority of the council feels like, that we want to want to pass the ordinance in order to ease the situations we have right now and then come back and uh, amend it with the things that will make it more substantial. I'm in favor of that. I'm not. Uh, I'm not uh, uh, for one minute against trying. We're trying to solve a problem here, and uh, if that's the way that the majority of the council thinks we can best solve this problem, uh, that's fine. I would support that. So, uh, if that's if, if that's what the majority wants, uh, I'll be glad to withdraw my my uh, request for a for a layover, so that you can vote uh, how you really feel uh, we can get the best situation on this program, so that we don't lose good people we've got and are unable to hire good people to replace them. Point of information, it, it does um, uh, Alderman Brake's uh, motion to lay over take precedence over the motion to approve? No. 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 We haven't voted on it yet. <laughs> but we have to pick, we have to vote on one first, right? Or, or do we need Brian to withdraw the motion to approve? Charlie just withdrew. Charlie withdrew, so yeah. that's it, because you have to withdraw. Brian, are you having a problem yes, with that? Say that again, Stephanie. Are you having a problem with him withdrawing? Because you did second it, I'm, but I'm just saying. <laughs> if it's withdrawn, no. then it's not on the book, correct? No, I, I, have no, I don't have a problem with him withdrawing it. Okay. But then that leaves us with a motion to approve, right? Yes. Right. Yes. So let's just go back to Carolyn and let that, Carolyn do. It. Yeah. That, okay. That, 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 the, the situation, as I understand it now, correct me if this is incorrect. As as the situation stands on the floor right now, with my withdrawal of of, of a layover, it leaves us free to vote for or against this regu uh, this, this ordinance uh, uh, as we feel uh, yes. it's best to do and try to deal yes. with it later yes yes okay and uh cheryl i still want to reverse roll call okay and this is to approve with campbell is the first and brown is the second yes yeah 
the approval and reverse roll call. Yes. Okay. Okay. Campbell? Aye. Keener? No. Elliot? Aye. Briggs? Aye. Brown? Aye. Grable? Nay. McAfee? No. Four eyes, three nays, no absent. Okay. So we've we've passed it then. Right. So, so, all right. We'll go to number five. Resolution. Be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Alton, Illinois, that the mayor and appropriate city officials are hereby authorized and directed to execute any necessary documents to effectuate the sale of the subject property, 916 West 9th Street. I need a motion. Motion to approve. I need a I second. second. Campbell and Next Brown? Part. Yes. Yes. Please call the roll. McAfee? Aye. Strable? Aye. Brown? Aye. Break? Aye. Elliot? Aye. Keener? Aye. Campbell? Aye. Seven eyes, no nays, no absent. Number six, resolution be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Alton, Illinois, that the material proposal submitted by the following companies be and here and hereby accepted for the 2022 MFT maintenance program, Alton MFT section 22-00000-00-GM. I need a motion. Move for approval, break. I need a second. No second, second, Elliot. Elliot. Madam Elliot. Clark. All right, Madam Clark, please call the roll. McAfee? Aye. Strable? Aye. Brown? Aye. Break? Aye. Elliot? Aye. Keener? Aye. Campbell? Aye. Seminage, no nays, no absent. Number seven, resolution be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Alton, Illinois, that the best bid of Stutz Excavating Incorporated for 603 Paisal Street in the amount of $80,800 be awarded for bid number 2021-21 for the Building and Zoning Department. I need a motion. Motion, Strable. Second. Break. Aye. Second. Matt, any questions? Madam Clerk, please call the roll. McAfee? Aye. Strable? Aye. Brown? Aye. Break? Aye. Elliot? Aye. Keener? Aye. Campbell? Aye. Seven eyes, no nays, no absent. Chairs open. I make a motion, motion to adjourn. Second. I second. Elliot. Roll call. Please call the roll. Who is second? Who, who is second? Rosie. McAfee. Aye. Strable. Aye. Brown. Aye. Break. Aye. Elliot? Aye. Keener? Aye. Campbell? Aye. 
Seven A's, no A's, no absent. Have a good evening, everyone. Have a good evening.